All right, I'm gonna do a video on um, emergency diesel generators on ships and um, what they look like, what they are for, things they power. So um, first, well, let's get a look at the generator. And it's uh, it's not very big. It's kind of about the size of a truck engine. We've got our little control panel, local controls, battery meters. And if you look on it, let's see if we can find the name tag. But um, basically this is a Cummings truck engine, little six cylinder, uh, five cylinder? Five cylinder Cummings truck engine. Um, got a hydraulic start, that's the thing, you have to have two methods of starting. So we have a hydraulic starter, we've got our batteries, and we've got our electric starter. We've got our fuel tank in there, you can see how that's labeled, that's our minimum number and a safety shutoff. And then we've got our emergency switchboard. Uh, ships have to have the whistle power, so you can tell people you're in danger. That um, this breaker here, this is uh, emergency air. Basically, this is for everything to put a big diesel generator back online after you lost it. Um, recharging air compressor, lifeboat davit, which cover the lifeboat. Um, heater in the CO2 room, steering, one of the steering pumps, um, and then this is like lighting and bridge electronics and whatnot. Um, but yeah, it's just usually a room, it's always separate from, so the room that the emergency diesel in is always separate from the engine room, that way if there's fire in the engine room, you are in a separate space, it's self-contained, it has its own fuel tank, its own ventilation, um, its own shutdowns, everything. And um, these things very rarely get used. Let's see if we can find the hour meter. Yeah, here we go. Here's the hour meter. 357 hours in about 10 years. So um, it gets two hour load test every month. Um, sometimes a little longer. You know, I, I'd have to do the math. I don't even know what that's right. And um, that's when the ship's running. You gotta do two hour load test and uh, that's it. So they're pretty reliable, they're pretty basic. Uh, this ship's kept in really good shape, so um, yeah, you can see here it's got its own fan panel in here. Totally self-contained, and that's what an emergency diesel generator room looks like.